Hey there, wildlife family. Welcome to Doc Wild, your go-to place for untold nature stories that shape our world. And today we're bringing wild ideas to life right in your living room. In the vast and mysterious waters of our planet, new discoveries are always lurking just beneath the surface, waiting to change everything we thought we knew. Today we have a groundbreaking revelation that could change how we understand one of the ocean's most powerful predators. Get ready to meet 49 newly discovered killer whales that have just been confirmed to be an entirely different species that's not only genetically unique, but one that also possesses some pretty mind-blowing hunting tactics that's nothing like the killer whales seen before. A species so elusive, so aggressive and so uniquely adapted it's redefining what we thought we knew about orcas. In 2020, when a team of marine biologists were out conducting research off the coast of California and Oregon about the movements of the region's resident whales, they stumbled upon something truly shocking. What they witnessed was a pod of 49 orcas engaged in a highly aggressive hunting practice. Killer whales are known for their intelligence and hunting strategies, but what these orcas were doing took things to a whole new level. The orcas were targeting a massive sperm whale. Sperm whales considered an apex predator and historically thought to be immune to killer whale attacks with only a few documented cases around the world, making this a rare event to see. But these orcas didn't just attack the whale, they were systematically disabling its movements, using complex, coordinated efforts that were unlike any known tactics in the killer whale world. These orcas would separate the whale from its pod, cut off escape routes and even use their tails to create waves to disorient the larger whale in a dramatic fashion. This fascinating behaviour was so refined, it made the scientists question if these were just super-skilled individuals or if they were part of a completely new species with specialised traits. At first, they thought the orcas were simply a particularly aggressive strain of killer whale. But after the scientists' extensive studies of collected DNA samples and a deeper analysis into their behaviours, they realised these animals were genetically distinct from other known orca populations. The genetic evidence showed that they diverged from other orca populations between 200,000 and 300,000 years ago, with no sign of interbreeding with other orca populations. Meaning that these killer whales have evolved separately for hundreds of thousands of years, adapting to their own niche in the ocean. Killer whales are one of the most widespread animals on Earth and had been previously considered one worldwide species known scientifically as Orchinus orca, with different forms in various regions known as ecotypes. In 1970, Canadian scientist Michael Big was the first to describe telltale differences between the now known two types of oceanic killer whales, now often referred to as resident and transient orcas. He also noted that the two animals did not mix with each other, even when they occupied many of the same coastal waters. This difference in their social structures was one of the Keystone Studies subjects in revealing a true testament to how different the ecotypes are, with the resident orcas having tight-knit family pods, while the bigs killer whales tend to travel in matrilines, which are groups of a female and her offspring. Though the species may look similar to the untrained eye, genetic evidence has revealed how very different they were. The two species also use different ecological niches and specialised in different prey. Scientists observed how the neotype skulls collected from Big's killer whale were more robust and had a wider rostrum, or beak, than the resident killer whale. This adaptation was presumably for feeding on larger prey like marine mammals, in 2014, research with usage of drones were conducted that collected precise aerial photos that has helped scientists differentiate three distinct ecotypes of killer whales that live off the coast of California and Oregon, residents, offshore and transients. These orcas' ecotypes all differ physically, behaviorally and dietarily.
But when analysing the 49 newly discovered orcas within nine different encounters, none of them could be matched with any of the three previous orca groups. However, researchers also noted another commonality among almost all 49 orcas. A distinct scar pattern. These scars match the bite pattern of the cookie-cutter shark, or Isistius brasiliensis shark, which provides a significant clue for discerning where this distinct orca population usually resides. With continued observational study of the new population to determine genetic differences between these orcas and other ecotypes, scientists have been collecting and analysing recordings of the orcas' calls. So it seems that after more than two decades of gathering data, a new population of orca is finally beginning to take shape in the open Pacific. These magnificent creatures are more than just predators. They are a testament to the power of evolution and the delicate balance that sustains life in our seas. Thanks for tuning in, wildlife family. If you enjoyed this story, hit that like button and subscribe for more amazing wildlife tales.